In the summer of 2012, I took a trip to Amman, Jordan as part of my graduate degree requirements for the University of Bridgeport for the Global Development and Peace Program, an opportunity of a lifetime. Little did I know that in all my travels, this would be the trip that changed everything. I was immediately drawn to the way of life the Middle East has to offer. Culturally, the food, the music, the politics, and most importantly, the people and the passion for life and dedication for their homeland. From my past research and studies, I had known that Syria had this tremendous conflict and overflow of refugees that had fled into Syria's surrounding countries like Lebanon, Jordan, Turkey, and Iraq. In June of 2012, I had visited my first Syrian refugee camp, Ramda camp in Jordan. In a few short hours of being there, I was enveloped in the stories of these refugees. Stories about bombings, lack of adequate resources, funding, lack of security and safety, and ultimately a loss of the sense of self. Not in the hundreds, not in the thousands, but in the millions. After hearing these stories, I knew I had to do something that could promote awareness, something invaluable to the Syrian people that I could give not as an American, but as a person who felt a tremendous sense of humanity. And so I knew that the only way to make an impact was to do something simple, to pick up my camera and capture their reality, their stories. I felt the need to convey their lives to others, not as a photojournalist with a biased perspective, but as a real person with no ties to the revolution. I was so drawn to the people and their stories of chaos that I had to learn more and despite objections from my family and friends, I made the executive decision to go back to my beloved Middle East to gain a better understanding of the conflict. I was given the opportunity to go into the trenches of the unknown, to cross the borders into Syria, where even my own beliefs and safety were put into peril, to see for myself the reasoning behind the insurmountable amounts of suffering that I had seen, the untold stories of Syria, perhaps the only people in the world that can feel the most love and the most pain all at the same time. By the time I crossed into Syria, I already had thousands upon thousands of photos of refugees from the outside looking in but now I felt the need to capture the root of the problem with the lens of my camera. These pictures are honor, gift, and curse. People often ask me if I was excited to travel to Jordan and Syria, and every time I find myself pausing, because for me there is no excitement in witnessing death and suffering. However, it is because of these events I feel it is my responsibility as a human being to share these photos with the world. I want to create images that would truly inspire change. Like many photographers, I was haunted by what I had seen transpire in Syria. The rebels' message of hope for freedom seemed simple, yet the conflict was extremely complicated. What's more is that because I became so involved in the lives of these people, as each day went on, I became more and more frustrated that nothing was being done to help the most vulnerable. I was a witness to people losing their dignity, compassion, and sanctity of human life. In Syria, hundreds of soldiers and civilians are killed due to shelling and airstrikes, and the innocent bystanders lose a piece of their soul every day. Because I capture about a year's worth of photos in the region, I felt I undertook a tremendous responsibility to convey the loss of a country to the world. As a young woman, I felt the only way to truly affect change is to relay my photos to the people. Oftentimes, people turn a blind eye to suffering because it is easier to look the other way. My goal is for my photos to convey the truth. And so with your generous contribution, I hope to raise funding for my second trip to Syria and a lookbook of my photographs, both in color and black and white. In addition, half of the proceeds will go to an established nonprofit organization whose mission is to provide unconditional aid to the most urgent and critical cases across Syria, regardless of race, religion, ethnicity, or politics. This conflict will not cease in the near future. In fact, it may continue for years to come. I need your help so I can get my message of truth and humanity through my photos of Syria out for the world to see. The people of Syria need your help to survive.